Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator Lore video. So today what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different, something that we haven't done yet today, and we're going to be creating an entity uh, for the biome, for the planes biome, and we're going to need something that is something related to planes. So I went with a prairie dog, so we need to actually design the, the legs and um, eventually the body and all the... Uh, test all the aspects of how it rotates and everything like that for all the cubes and stuff. So um, I am using a reference. I did look up um, a few references for how uh, prairie dogs actually look. And I uh, did come across a, a one that was uh, already in the Minecraft community, I guess. I don't know if it was recent or anything like that but i didn't actually go to scale of how everything worked i'm just mostly eyeballing how the model looks and how it would probably be best to design so it's not in an exact one-to-one -one ratio or anything like that if it's it'll, it'll be kind of close but not exactly the exact same thing so Basically, what I wanted to do is, if you're not familiar with a prairie dog, it's kind of like a rodent. It's um, uh, it usually is found in plains biomes. Uh, we have a few of them out in Canada. There was uh one near Logan Lake when I actually went up there one time to um some sort of event. There was um quite a few of them at a school, and there were cute as cute and adorable really they were just like sitting there they they kind of stand up and look um very similar to meerkats so um yeah i just i don't know it's just just they're just kind of cute right so i wanted to design one and bring it into the game and we'll eventually be adding other animals as well uh not just this particular one but some other predators for it as well so um, coyotes are often a predator and found in plains biomes as well, so we could always add coyotes and a few other things later on. But when when I build up the self-esteem to actually texture and model everything like that, but um, it was nice finding a reference uh, as something that was already done because then I had an idea of what it would kind of look like. And even if it was just one angle of it, it still gave me a pretty good idea what I needed to do for the cubes and stuff. So, all right. So, yeah, right now what I'm doing is I'm just categorizing all the cubes into their own groups. You might have noticed that I have two main groups. Uh, this is for um, fixing a rotation issue. I'm not sure if it's still required, but um, in some cases uh, when entities are... Um, set up with uh, rotation and stuff like that the the rotation could be a little bit slow and not exact for the rotation I think this has to do with M crater testing as well as um, the game testing for the groups and stuff like that and how the rotations are based on those two groups so uh, I don't know somebody told me that I needed to put it into another main group and that seemed to fix the issue when I tried it so I've been doing it basically ever since when I'm creating entities and stuff like that. And I haven't had any issues. So um, basically you would have like three main groups. You would have your um, rotation for, or your actual main group, your sub main group, and then you have your folders for each rotation for your cubes. And you could even have subfolders of those uh, if you need more complex modeling and stuff like that too. But in most cases you probably can just use the cube so basically I've just been setting up all the um, parts and just giving them names. The names need to be, the cubes need to be, have unique names. Uh, maybe the folders as well. I didn't want to take any risk that they weren't actually um, properly named and stuff like that. So basically I just uh, generated a UV map for the texture and for the actual entity. And now comes the fun part. We I want to actually make another um, version of this where it's actually standing. And I want to go ahead and kind of move up the uh, body and basically rotate the parts and stuff. So it's um, looks like the meerkat is actually standing. Or the peri dog, pardon me, meerkat. I, was, I said meerkat earlier, that's why. 
Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and basically just rotate a few things and I needed to go ahead and set up uh, the rotation for the, the arms and stuff. Now I was playing around with the rotations and the location and stuff like that for the arms and I decided to actually go ahead with um, just this level for the y-axis for the um, actual arms but I needed to rotate them a little bit too because the texture is going to be a little bit different uh, based on the rotation of how the entity is so I needed to rotate it 90 degrees upwards and then that way um, when we do texture it it's going to look a little bit better so I then needed to make sure the subgroup and everything was center so the hitbox and stuff when we do get to that point it's all centered and then it was just a matter of uh, basically setting up the um, the actual positions for all the components and stuff like that making sure everything was set up so this particular one right here is not from any reference I'm just using uh, Google images to kind of see how they actually react when they're standing and stuff like that and they do stand very similar to meerkats and other um, creatures of the similar family so um, right now what you're seeing me do is I'm just testing the head rotation and just seeing how it would look with um, when I basically get the head rotation set up and by doing a rotation on the um, Y and one of the X axis we can actually see what it would look like and then for the other aspects I just need to make sure the body and everything and all the other components were set up for the actually the actual walking part and stuff like that so um, basically the dark part the I, it's kind of like a gray that's the, where the bottom is so I wanted to make sure that the rotations were all set up for that and I needed to make sure that if we did do any animations with the um, the hands and stuff like that we wouldn't have the ability to do that without having to adjust the model so even though that I don't attend to make this entity for this particular one uh, walk only the one where it's on the, in the crawling position um, I still wanted to make sure that all the rotations were set up just in case we do want to do something with it later on and I needed to figure out where all the feet parts and stuff were going to go because it's a little bit harder to do all that but as you can see I'm testing to see how the foot rotation is and I needed to get the uh, foot rotation set up in such a way that it would look a little bit more natural but um, for the most part these are set up pretty good I, I don't really have too much of an issue with it just you know if it would be nice to have a little bit more of a part but the problem with that is you want to keep your cubes on a uh, 16 by 60 or like an actual pixel scale because if you start manipulating them in a way that will um, be different sizes and stuff it starts to look a little bit odd for Minecraft right so uh, Minecraft usually sticks to the 16 by 16 scale uh, in some cases you might need to make an overlay or something like that and like for detail work uh, this is usually for larger entities and stuff but um, you know you can scale it up using the um, inflate tool for the um, the scale but um, it's just it's more of an armor kind of layer type thing than actually designing the base creatures um, design and stuff like that so uh, basically that's what that part was now I needed to do this for the rotations and uh, set up the, the actual positioning and everything for all the cubes and the folders for basically the um, crawling entity which is what I'm working on right now I'm just checking the head rotation and I needed to set up the foot rotation as well so I needed to test all that uh, for the arms I needed to make sure that they were right up against where the um, entities like paws are so right on the part where the body is and where the actual part for the um, the front paws as well and then for the back ones I needed to make sure that they were center at the I guess in the the center of the back of the like right directly center it for the part that connects 
So that's where I basically set up the rotation there. I needed to figure out where it needed to go though and basically offset it a little bit to 0 0.5 just so it would um, properly align up for the exact center of that. And I was doing that for the other one as well. So once I did that, I could start testing uh, how it would actually look and stuff. But um, overall, that's basically what I did today. I just started working on the modeling. We're probably going to do texturing next episode. Um, this is an easier entity to work on, I would say, because you don't have as much pixels to actually detail like a wolf or a coyote or something like that. So I wanted to kind of get my feet wet just to see how I can basically learn from some examples that were already online and um, get kind of prepared for actually doing a larger project. But overall, that's basically what I did. This is the one that will actually be walking around and doing things. And the other one here is basically when it will change to an action to kind of stand up and look around. So um this one won't actually go anywhere it'll just be stay like staying in one spot and then this one will take over um when it switches the model and stuff like that when it needs to go somewhere else so outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i have a quick uh, announcement right after this so i will see you next time if you have suggestions or find an issue with the mod, what you can do is you can go to the GitHub repository, go to the issues tab, and then select a new issue. And you can suggest a idea or provide feedback for this, the series and with this uh, particular form, or you can report a bug or an issue with the mod in this particular form. Uh, this will create a template for you to fill out and you can basically name it and do whatever you want with it for that part. Uh, the bug report requires a little bit more additional information about the forge, the build information, steps to reproduce the issue and um, information uh, about the issue. And it's already labeled automatically for the uh, proper labels and stuff like that. So uh, this is the proper way to uh, suggest features and stuff. Uh, and I will definitely take all suggestions here into consideration for the series. Often I'm looking for new content and ideas. So if you have any suggestions, this is perfect uh, for suggesting them. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.